I've been serving on the board since 2011. I started out as the parliamentarian, served as vice president, and then I was president. We have come through so many changes in KISTE over the years. Um, we've almost come full circle. Back when this was the Kentucky Teaching and Learning Conference, including all facets of education, not just technology. They officially became KISTE around 2010 when we moved to the Galt House. Had our um, conference there for several years and then, like I said, we're so excited to be so large now that we have so many educators from across Kentucky here at the International Convention Center. What an awesome transition to be a part of and serving in this role as communications director is so very rewarding. As president of KISTE, uh, my primary role is planning the spring conference and setting up the session matrix and picking the theme that we have each year and make sure that we have lots of sessions uh, from our Kentucky teachers uh, here across the two and a half days. Myself and my children are uh, enthusiasts with flight and space. One of the things I wanted to highlight was Kentucky's innovation and uh, their number one export, which is the aerospace industry and the jobs that we're preparing Kentucky students to take. So actually in this very building, I was an STLP engineer uh, 22 years ago during the Kentucky Teaching and Learning Conference that used to be put on by the Department of Education. That conference is what KISTE took the place of. Uh, we took that time slot and that's the role that KISTE fills now. So uh, we have STLP engineers here with us this week. And so it's great um, you know, for me to be able to not only uh, do that, but also uh, move into a role as a CIO myself. So my favorite thing about the KISTE conference is just the ability to network with uh, you know, innovative teachers, innovative learning coaches, innovative uh, CIOs and leaders in ed tech from all across the state. See what they're doing, see what they're learning and learn from them. Uh, it's powerful and energizing. It always sends us back to our districts full of energy and, and ready to take on the end of the school year and our summer rush. KISTE, we really like to continue the innovation of technology and education, really providing that acceleration around uh, the work that is taking place in our classrooms. Uh, we, as KISTE, we offer a wide variety of sessions uh, directed at multiple different avenues, whether that be teachers, library media specialists, administrators, or technology leads. We cover a wide breadth of information and really just continuing to push the districts of Kentucky forward in terms of how we support and utilize technology within our classrooms. I got to learn as it was happening. Cheryl got to learn as it was happening. But for today's ed tech leaders, they jump in and people expect them to know everything from cybersecurity to apps to servers to um, instruction to, to, to teaching adult learners. And many of them were teachers and taught children. And then there's a difference. So I think our mission is to give back. And I, and I think it's more timely than ever because quite frankly, the benches are emptying in ed tech leaders around the country in K-12 school districts. So we're trying to build capacity and make it appealing for new leaders to join the profession. What's my mission? My mission is to help stop districts from making mistakes. I have a sort of unique view on privacy. I'm a privacy professional. I think these are the types of problems that we see everywhere. The problem is at the end of the day, outside of the, the violations of the law, you know, with some of these violations, you can actually really harm children. And I want to do what I can to make sure we stop that. And a blended learning expert, and I am excited to be here today to work with coaches and teacher, teachers who also have a coaching role to better support their educators in the shift from that really traditional teacher-led whole group lesson design and facilitation to using blended learning models. So we're going through a blended learning coaching cycle and figuring out how do we best support teachers in this shift. Sessions and workshops and things like KISTE in general really allow our teachers and our districts to get out and see what else is going on and see some of the great things taking place in our state. Learning from others allows us to take it back into our own districts and replicate the amazing things that we are seeing and really working with our teachers and our students to do so. KISTE, take us to the vendors! Thank you.
Kiss TV with you. Blast off! Kiss TV, phone home. With Kiss TV, where we're going, we don't need roads. Kiss TV, live long and prosper. I'm Keith from Proven Learning, and I'm just here to rock it. Take me to your leader. We began in June uh, advertising to vendors. We send out emails through email list and start advertising, letting vendors know that our booths are on sale. They can get on, they get on our website. They can look at our map that we have um, that we have on there and, and uh, select a booth that they want to purchase. And then we also send them information regarding our outreach sponsorship that we have, the three levels, the gold, the platinum, and the silver. And um, so some people choose to, to uh, purchase those. And so that's how we do it. All my old flames have new names. One-handed? One hand. He's an animal. Nice yeah, job. that's impressive. Yeah, we're putting a break in this Yeah. <laughs> do we get a prize? Yes, a uh, Bluetooth do. speaker. You're welcome. We got macaroons here too, guys. I'm on fire! Jim, we need all hands on deck at registration. Tech team, we gotta roll! We have had 13 students help with the uh, KISTI conference this year at KICK, and then we're going to have the same 13 students at STLP State. The student's role is to provide tech support to our presenters, our vendors, anybody that needs help. They're the best of the best. We are so lucky to have them here. We love that KISTI is still inviting these students to help take a lead role at this premier education technology conference for the whole state. Um, these guys are constantly blowing me out of the water. I love seeing them get out there. I love seeing them use the skill sets that they have. I see that. That's why I didn't change yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. The experiences I've had with it, the people I've met, um, and the knowledge I've gained uh, has you know, propelled me further with uh, my uh, tech skills and education. My mission at KISTI this year, to build relationships and to have a fun time. Guys, I'm TLP has done a lot to change my life. Um, it really just gave me an opportunity to like utilize the STEM stuff I was learning in class and also to network, get to know a lot of amazing people who are interested in the same stuff. I'm on the social media team, so I'm taking pictures for everybody and writing the socials for the KISTI. They can help you right Thank there. You. My favorite memory of KISTI so far would definitely be Jim walking around in the alien suit. We come in peace. KISTI, the innovative frontier. These are the experience of the technology gurus. Their yearly mission, to explore new and innovative technology, to seek out relative and bizarre tech tools. To boldly go where students, teachers, tech teams, and cool people have ever gone before. Thanks for watching. Beat me up, KISTI.